Hello there, welcome to another Zero video. Here we go again. This is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. In this Zero training video, I'm going to teach you how to use expense claims on Zero accounting software. Go to business at the top here and go down to expense claims. The whole purpose of expense claims is to keep track of what is owed to employees, expenses they've paid out on behalf of the company and they need reimbursing for. It's great for director's loans, that sort of thing, or employees are traveling, paying out for things for their work and they need reimbursing for. Ideally, they would have like a, an expense reimbursement form filled out. They would give to the accounts department. They would then enter that on the software. We have some segments here. We have drafts submitted to be paid. I'll explain these in this video. It's worth noting at this point though that you can use the tabs at the top here. So to review is submitted, to pay is to be paid. The wording is different at the top. So one of the things I don't like about this feature, there's something else I really don't like, which I'll go through in a moment. But if you want to just view the certain segments of or specific segments of this list and you can use the tabs up here to pay you get the two items here that are to be paid okay to enter a new expense to record a new expense go to new expense here click on expense claim the first thing you can do is upload the expense form so if there is an expense form or receipt something like that you can scan that or take a picture of it on your phone and upload it to zero. I suggest you do that, it's a nice feature. Next up, you need to select the employee or director the expense claim is from. This is the thing I really don't like about this feature. There's just me showing in this list. In order to add people's names to this list, you have to add them as a user on zero. I have no idea why that is the case. I don't know why you just can't click new here and add new names to this list and then easily select them for expense claims. If you want a certain employee to show here, you need to actually go up here, click on settings and add them as a user to zero accounting software. Very frustrating, I know, but you would go here and, and add them or invite them as a user. I can't do that or demonstrate that because this is like a demo account. Expense claims. Let's go back. Okay. Purchase amounts. This is the amount they've spent. It was for this. Okay. You then have company money or personal money. I don't know why they've got company money. Perhaps that's for like petty cash payments, something like that. If this is to reimburse an employee, then it's going to be personal money. Spent at, blah, blah, blah. Spent on, put the date on. The accounts. This is the nominal account, the financial account that you want the expense to be allocated against. So it could be for printing and stationery. Okay, so they bought some staples and paper for 50 pounds on behalf of the company and they need reimbursing. Now it could be on the expense form, and it's likely to be on the expense form, that you actually have multiple transactions, multiple things they've paid out for. There could be some travel and, and other things that they need reimbursing for. If that's the case, you just select itemize here. If I click on itemize, I can actually choose a separate um, description. So add another item and we can Put in the description. This one's for postage and it's for 20. Add another item. This one's for travel. Okay. The accounts me national travel. 100 pounds. So if you have multiple items they need reimbursing for, this is how you do it. Either way, when you're done, click save as draft just to save it. So if you're halfway through, you can save as a draft and come back. So here's my staples and paper. It's in 
the drafts area look of this feature. It's the only reason why I saved it as a draft, so I can show you where it shows now. We submit it. Once it's submitted, it will show us submitted in here. Submitted means it's submitted for approval or submitted to be reviewed, hence the different terminology up here. Once it's been re reviewed and approved or declined, hopefully not, but if, if it's been approved, we click approve. It then shows down here to be paid. So three reimbursement claims forms that have been added to zero. When we are ready to reimburse the employee for this item, we can click on it. At the top right here, it's going to say view bill. Click on view bill. It will then show you the bill that's been created. This bill is created when the reimbursement is approved. And we can record the payment down here. So it was today from the business bank account. Oh, let's go down to business bank account, blah, blah, blah. Click add payment. That payment is now being recorded. So I've gone through a lot in a very short amount of time. But to summarize, expense claims, add a new claim up here. You can save it as a draft at any point. But once you're happy that it's correct, click submit. Once it's submitted, it needs approving. Once it's approved, the expense details will be added to the accounts as a bill, as like a purchase invoice. And then the item will show in the to be paid area, category, heading. Click on the bill, view bill. You can then enter the payment details. It's very long winded. I know it's not my favorite feature on zero accounting software. As you can probably tell by my lack of enthusiasm. Yippee. Okay. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you in a future video.